Fumbon Palace, home of some of Cameroon's prestigious kingdoms. The town of Bamenda has for years been a popular tourist spot, attracting both local and foreign visitors. But an Islamist insurgency by Boko Haram that has wreaked havoc in neighboring Nigeria has also seeped through the porous borders into Cameroon. To say the truth, our industry is dead because of these attacks by Boko Haram. And we're fully behind our president so that he can find a solution to this problem, so that our industry can go back to what it used to be. Regional tourist operators have called on the government to find a solution to stop the insurgency and save the tourism industry. Hotel occupation has decreased by 20 percent, which seriously affects operations in the sector. So it's a serious problem for us. On Wednesday, Cameroon's army announced that it had killed at least 100 Boko Haram members and freed 900 people, backed by a regional task force. But the double suicide bomb, suspected to be by Boko Haram on the same day, highlights the challenges the government of Cameroon face in countering the attacks. Maria Galang, CCTV.